Hey guys, what's up? It's M, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my review or my likes and dislikes on the Canon M100. So let's get it. So one thing I like about this camera is its interchangeable lens. Mine is 15 to 45 millimeters, but if you want a wider shots, you need to buy a wide angle lens. But to mount these lenses, you need an adapter like this. So when vlogging, it is really convenient to see yourself. So I really like this camera has a flip screen. So for a non-techie like me, when it comes to cameras, I really like user-friendly modes like this. So it really can focus fast, whether it be an object or your face. Since this is a mirrorless camera, this is definitely lighter than the DSLR, so I can bring this and carry this all day long without hurting my neck. So somehow, I like the idea of having a separate slots for the memory card and the battery pack, but I think this is only useful when changing cards with full memory to a new one when your camera is mounted on a tripod. Hey guys, so this is the voice quality without mic. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. How are you? So when you're video recording at 50 frames per second, it will automatically stop in 10 minutes. And when you're recording in less than 10 minutes and the camera turns hot, it will ask you to reduce the frames per second from 50 to 25 and you can have a longer recording time. So for the charging time, it took me about 1 hour and 45 minutes to be exact for the battery to be fully charged. So I really love how it's so convenient and so easy to transfer files from your camera to your phone via Wi-Fi. And so here is a quick tutorial on how to do it. First, you have to download the Camera Connect app to your phone. Turn on the camera and go straight to the wireless button. Then select the mobile icon and add a device. So switch to the camera access point mode and your device will be given a unique password. On your smartphone, go to the Wi-Fi settings and select your camera and enter the password. So 
So go to the Camera Connect app and select your unit and then on your camera device, click on All Images. And now you can access your photos and videos and download them to your phone. So there are two ways on how to use your wireless remote. First is through Wi-Fi. So to access via Bluetooth, go to the wireless settings on your camera and pair your device. So this is very useful, especially when you're traveling alone. So to change your device nickname, just press the wireless button again and edit your device. So the next time you transfer your files, just select on your device nickname and you're ready to connect. Sadly, there is no hot shoe and no mic input. So the grip of this camera is not the comfiest, but there are camera cases which will help you have a secured grip. So overall, this is a great camera and I really want to recommend this to all the beginners like me. And for the price, it can really give you quality shots. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you liked this video and please do subscribe to my channel. Peace out!